Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if we can make this one turn up a treat. It's a nice uh, sunny day out there. Anzac Day here in Sydney, Australia. Let's see how we go with this. Ah, oh, I forgot. Got to do all the other colours. Ha <laughs> ha. My nose is itching like mad. Fuck, I hate it when it itches. Scratch, scratch. Ugh, scratch. Anyway, enough of that. Let's see what we got. Here is the new idea Legends. So, got a Legends. This is what we're interested. We've got here Australia's. Sweetheart, I think, yeah, there's all these famous people who are interested in this page here. So we're going to make that into something interesting. Yeah, she died recently, uh, Olivia Newton-John. <sighs> Having problems there, but it might be a happy accident for all we know. Yeah, that's come up looking quite a treat, actually. We're going to utilise that. That's going to be a good one. Oh, shit, yeah. Of course. Him. Uh, what's his name? I'm not big on him. I don't like his fucking comedy. His name is Barry Humphreys. And he died recently. All due respect. Uh, I don't... That's the thing, folks. I'm not a fucking um, comedy person. I don't fucking typically like comedy. Uh, but, yeah, he was actually very sick recently. He was in hospital. You know, you watch it on the news all the time, you know. You don't... You yourself, or me myself, I don't worship or have any um, allegiance or any interest in comedy. But he went. He was the man behind... The, uh, who could ever forget the iconic Dame Edna Everidge? Um, he was indeed um, the big, the big prime mover when it came to that comedy, and he was the the one. People loved his comedy. I never, as I said, I never had much of an appreciation for comedy. I'm not a comedy, I'm not a person who has much of a rampant sense of humour. I don't fucking find comedy, I don't find, didn't find um, Damien Everidge or any of these other alter egos of Barry Humphreys particularly appealing. But then I never liked much of the uh, comedy sector of things. No, I never did. I'm, not, I'm just not interested in... I just don't have a sense of humour. I, I feel life has got to be taken more seriously, folks. You know, the environment, the human race, what's going on in the world, as in, you know, whether things like... Um, things don't last as long as they should and things break and things become pollution and... What is the solution and all this sort of stuff? I know that rhymes, sorry. But basically, I'm, I'm a person who... I'm focused on my photocopier-related stuff. I'm trying to... I'm hoping in the future I'll get a chance to redesign the photocopier. So you can understand I have no time for fucking comedy and, and laughter and... All sorts of shit like that. I just don't have any time for that sort of stuff. And she died as well. I think that that's um, Olivia Newton-John. Uh, she died 
sometime last year, so they all seem to be dying on us, these uh, celebrities. Um, all due respect, folks, you know, it's really sad, and I know it is. It's really a pity, but, you know, what can you do, folks? What can you do? You know, they're still human. They've still got feelings. They still... They still... They're not indestructible just because they're celebrities, you know. They're not... They're not indestructible, folks. Uh, we might want to believe that they could go on forever. We do wish, you know, people as a human race do wish celebrities could last forever. You know, they, they, they seem to think they're immortal and they're bulletproof, but they're still humans, you know, and they're still people, and, and people do give them too much fucking... Um, they put a lot on them, and at the same time, they see that they don't see that maybe they're not as they're not any better than us. You know, they're they're not immortal, and they're not any better than us. Just because they, I don't know, they're just they're just people, folks, and people just put too much on them that they they treat them like they're immortal or they're some kind of demigods or whatever else that celebrities are often given a sense of that they're special or they're and I just don't see it like that I just don't I guess I don't really care because I'm just not a person that that likes to admire celebrities much uh, I appreciate what they can they have in some circumstances contributed but I'm just not the kind of person that really I'm not I'm not a big fan of most TV shows. Um, I tend to put the TV on at the early hours of the morning when I'm making my when I'm working on my yes my TV campaign. Uh, strangely enough, uh, but I don't really concentrate on the program that much, and a lot of the time it's a piece of shit infomercials selling anything from um, bar heaters that have been given certain qualities to them that really don't have a place you know like they, there's this thing called the Tiva indoor outdoor instant indoor outdoor heater and it's just a bar heater right and they're just making it out that it's got certain qualities and scientific backup that it's something special you know, that it's heat is something special when heat is just heat, folks. And you just fucking... I don't know why I watch this shit, you know? And, and, and they show people that are really dumb people uh, trying out the product, you know, you know. And basically, you know, there's all sorts of other products, but I find Tiva indoor, outdoor, the, uh, the Tiva instant indoor, outdoor... Heater, <laughs> that's what it's called, it's a big long name, and, and it's just like, what the fuck? It's just a load of shit, it's just a fucking bar heater. It's just a fucking bar heater, folks, a radiator, that's all it is. And they fucking, and it just blows my head away, just how much of this fucking sales pitch that they put toward about it, you know? They make it into something big, when it's just a fucking bar heater, folks. A bar heater, they've been around for decades, folks. And that's come up looking uh, quite a treat. I think we can now call this demo quits.